Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's very echo in here today and I figured out what it is. There's no dressing gowns or anything hanging up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open the wirr. The wirr. I'm just gonna open the window, which hasn't really made much difference. But the sun is shining. It is Sunday, it's Mother's Day here in Australia. So the wife has been spoiled rotten this morning. She's had breakfast in bed from the kids, had a nice coffee. And she's now through with her dad, who has popped up just to say hello. So I've had a shiver. I can't remember the last time I had a shave right after a shower, but I'm going to have one today. I normally have it sort of the day after, but a, a few hours after. So I'm just going to wet my face first. I've got two days growth. Now the reason I left my facial hair to grow for two days was I thought I was going to get a lot of ingrowns, but actually I haven't got any. My skin has been feeling great. I've had no real issues. I thought I was going to get a few bits of irritation and things, but nothing. So pretty happy. Today's silk is Don Jose from Abate y la Mantilla and coconut and banana, two of my favourite things on the planet anyway. It's a beautiful scent. Now this is mentholated as well, which I love. I love the tubs. I, love, I think the labels look fantastic. There's a real nice sort of shine to the labels. It's a lot of soap. It's five ounces. It's more of a croak. In fact, it's more of a cream, to be honest. It's really borderline cream. God, that light in the back's really bright. That is what it looks like in the tin. I've used this a few times. It doesn't give me the best lather, but it's pretty slick. Post shave is average, but I finish off with APR, and ultimately it makes a great... I get a good shave from it, you know. That's the end of it. The Hulk. The Razor Rock Hulk. This brush is massive. You can see how big it is. That's my hand wrapped right around it. It's a 30... Three or a 35 millimeter knot, I'm not sure, it's a synthetic knot. You can see there, it's a big old knot. Even squished together, it's pretty dense. It's super soft, it, it makes a, an amazing lather. But what it is, I mean, it's huge. It uses quite a bit of soap. You really need to load it enough that it doesn't just all soak into the brush and you don't actually get any, any soap or lather at all. So I've just soaked it, flicked out a lot of the water, and let's go straight into the soap. So straight away, I can see that I'm going to have to just dip the tip, just add a little bit of moisture in here. Now, albeit this is a crop or a cream, it's just firm enough that you can use a synthetic on it without sort of gouging out loads of soap. My lathering with this brush generally takes a long time because of the fact that it is so big and you do load it quite heavy, but it's Sunday. I'm going to take the wife down the foreshore and have a bit of a walk around, have a coffee, sit down and have a chat down the foreshore. And I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Right, I think that's enough. You can see there is a band of soap loaded into the brush. I'm going to wet my face again. As you can see, my head is still... I'm, I'm starting to look, strangely enough, very much like a hobo. I don't even know whether you can say that anymore. I don't, I don't know whether that's the right thing to say. The world's gone mad. Can't say this, you can't say that, you can't say this, you can't say that. <laughs> On the upside, Western Australia, where I live, we have managed to contain and, and do really well with the, the COVID-19. And I don't think we've had any new cases of COVID-19 or coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, in the last seven days, I think. Something like that. We only have something like 20 active cases. There's been hundreds that have recovered and we've only lost, I say only, but I think it's something like eight people have passed away as a result of COVID-19 in Western Australia. So I think when you can, I know we have a very small population. Our population is only something like five million, I think, four point something million population of Western Australia. But we've done well with it. The gov uh, local government has done well. I'm not a massive fan of Mark McGowan, but I think they've managed it to the best of their ability. I think Australia in general as a whole has done pretty well with it. I think Prime Minister Scott Morrison has done okay with it. I'm not a fan of politics. I'm not a fan of politicians. I think they're all wankers really, but ultimately they're the people that make those decisions. It's, I'm just a, a pawn in the greater scheme of things. 
that just likes to whinge about it. Well, I don't really whinge about it because I don't really give a shit. It's like elections, whoever wins wins, it's the same old shit over and over again. They keep telling me that my vote counts, in Australia it doesn't because I can't vote. I'm not a, not a citizen yet, I'm still a permanent resident. After 13 years, <laughs> I'm still not a citizen. I've just never done it. I've actually filled the paperwork and never sent it off. But it looks like Western Australia is going to be probably one of the first countries in the world to really start going back to normality again. Our borders are still closed, so you can't get in or out of Australia, Western Australia at the moment, unless it's like, I would imagine things like specialist doctors and that sort of thing could get in, but well, I can't leave Western Australia and go to the Eastern States. I can't go to New Zealand, I don't think. I can't do anything like that. Our borders are closed in Western Australia completely. You can't drive out, you can't fly out. God, a nice cooling method. I'm getting soap at Ruby Rain. It's, uh, it can be a messy brush. I'm just going to start displaying it. Scent, beautiful, nice, nice summer scent, and then when you mix with this menthol, there's a good kick of menthol in here as well. Just gonna add some water into the knot. dropping a lot of water into this nut. It holds a big puddle of water in the base once you open it. And as you can see, it really does work very well. It's a big brush, a big knot. I don't find it too messy. The great thing with it is you never get soap in the handle. Like, it just never makes it to the handle. And surprisingly, even though it's quite heavy, very comfortable to use now. I don't think it'd be a great brush for Don Young over at Wet the Face because I know he's struggled recently with issues with his wrists and his arms. He's got, I can't remember if it was carpal tunnel or I can't remember what it was to be honest, that's terrible. But I know he had some major issues, it was, well, it was gout, or so I can't remember. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to dip the tips in the water and just paint some water. Some water on top, and again. Wow, this is the best ladder that I have created with Abate Ilamantia. That's well hydrated, I think. I think it looks great. It smells great. Let's see how it performs. It's got a lovely cooling sensation, but you can see this knot's massive and it is caked full of soap. Right, razor for today is the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel. Now, I was looking at picking up the DX, but having spoken to Yuan, Yuan over at Shaving Butcher, I've decided against it. I think it's a lot of money to spend. I think this is a beautifully finished razor. I would prefer the wooden scales, the Scotch scales for some reason. I never used to be into wooden handles or wooden scales or anything, but I think the Scotch feather looks phenomenal. So here we go. Let's just pull up it and start the shave. This has done about 10 shaves now, 15, 12 shaves. I don't know this razor blade, but it's done a few. Put the shakes today. How smooth is that? Wow, it's so good. Well, um, 
I get more and more impressed with it every use. The sort of more you become more comfortable with it. You want it with the stretching, you want to really try and if you watch this sort of line here of soap, watch how high it goes. You want to really get that as far as you can. So that when you let go, I'll just take another extra screw. Puffing my cheek out there as well. When you let go, watch the little line of soap that's left in the bottom, how low it goes. It might not look massive, but whenever I've got to do my neck now, it's a lot easier. Pretty good stuff. And as you can see, just a little rinse in the water and it's crystal clear again. So it's doing very, very well. Someone's baby's not happy today. I can hear it from here. I don't know where it is. I don't know anyone had any new baby run about here. That's still a bit I sort of struggle with. Just that little corner down there. It'd be very interesting to find with a smiling blade. It helps that. Just rinse the sink out, block here and there. Just a touch of water. Okay. Definitely the best ladder, man. Really slick, which is it's why really that I enjoy things like Mitchell Green Park, Swedish Witch, Billy Licker, you know, Talbot Shaving, Zingari Man, <laughs> Noble or Barrister and Man, Lather Brook, all these soaps that once you get the lather remotely good, it doesn't need but brilliant, you get left with that, and it's it's. It's really good stuff, it really is. Now this is going to be nice and cooling, this application of lather. No, oh, banana. Banana is definitely the prevalent scent in this, and it's not natural banana, it smells more like those little banana sweets you used to get that, that were disgusting. This is a, this is an exceptional ladder today. I'm really happy with it. Right, cross the grain. Someone's really not happy today. <laughs>
switch to this side now. Shaving butcher technique. Johan, it works, mate. It works really, really well. Too noisy out there now, just doing editing. Says the man that's got TV blaring in the background. Well, so far, I'm pretty happy with that. A big chunk of hair right there, but we'll get rid of that on this pass, hopefully. Oh, that's it, that menthol. Perfect. I still can't see me doing these type of shaves in sort of 10 minutes. <laughs> Just no way. Right, let's, um, what I'm going to do now. Pretty smooth. I just want to catch this this way now. It's really close today. Anything left to be honest, this is a really 
close shave. Pretty damn good. Right, I'm going to shave this part down the wrong side. It's a side my right hand in it. I haven't cut myself here, but I'll guarantee there's about three or four weepers. I'll put money on it. There they are, look. It's just a part of my neck that I just need to avoid going that way. <laughs> That side, absolutely fine. I felt that, I felt it was going to happen and I continued and I shouldn't have, I should just have stopped. But, overall, happy with the result. I mean, it's just weak as I haven't actually cut myself, you can see it. I've just nipped up the tips of the skin with the hair through there. dry skin but it's just a couple of little hairs in and that's it that would drive me absolutely bonkers if I didn't get in but other than that I've got one little button there nothing on those sides in the middle which is great getting better it's pretty damn good I mean, I knew that was coming, I felt it straight away, and I knew when I was messing about then that it was going to happen. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I think that's turned out way better. That's my second full Chevette shave, really. Got so much soap left this brush. It's really a brush built for a head and a face shave in one go. That works. It's a little while to clean out because it is so big and it is quite dense. And the ladder does get deep in the knot. I've got a few weakness around, but I went against the grain quite a bit. And I think, I think it did very, very well. Just a little bit of soap in there, just want to try and get it out. Right, I think that's it then. In terms of clean up, it's quite a messy brush though. That's the only thing that flicks water everywhere. Well, I do anyway. I mean, it's certainly excessive. You don't need a brush this size, by no means, like, but for anyone, really. Right, I'm just going to hit this with the old slip tape. Just to clear it up while I'm talking. Close and smooth, but still with that little kick of menthol, just a little bit. I mean, it's not as close as 
I would get with the DE. My camera's just, my phone's just went dark because it's almost dead, the battery's almost died on it. So yes, Don Jose from Abati Alamantia from Italy. Beautiful sub, banana and coconut, it's a cracking set. And the post shape is actually really nice today. I think I've nailed that ladder. Maybe it just needs to be used with a Hulk, but that's an amazing shave for me with a Chevette. The brush was the Hulk. Absolute beast of a brush. Made by Razor Rock or made for Razor Rock. I don't know how it's done, but it's a really, really nice handle. Really nice, very ergonomic. It's massive. Great if you've got big hands and it still works if you've got little hands. The Feather Chevette. I get better and better with this every single time. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm having shaves that are practically irritation free. I've got, I've got two brown patches here. But it feels very smooth. I don't know what's going on there. I did finish off with the carve just to touch up my lip and styptic pencil for the weepers. But other than that, everything else looks pretty good to me. I am going to finish off now with AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. I'm just going to wet the hands. One squirt, which looks like that. And here we go. That was a fantastic shave. I'm really happy with that. Let me have a look at the <laughs> no, I don't know. I really don't know. I need a head shave as well. It's driving me nuts. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.